students of the Tiptoe on Cherry Dance Studio say they're feeling blindsided, saying the business has been closed after they paid for classes. Kalisha Moore spoke with a student of the studio and who is wondering what that means for her lessons and found out what customers can do about it. In February, Tiptoe on Cherry opened as the first dance studio of its kind in Macon. Now it's closed and some customers say it's their last dance. It's a studio aimed at allowing dancers to learn the art of pole dancing. It's what got a lot of women through the door, but some of those women are saying the business closed unexpectedly and permanently. Classes keep getting canceled and I'm not getting notified. Crystal Crooms, a student at Tiptoe, says she spent hundreds of dollars for classes she never got. She Can't tried making calls, today, sending messages no and showing up to get the owner's attention. But she says none of it worked until she made a Facebook post. I tagged her in it um, and I obviously got her attention because that is the first text that I've gotten back from her and now she's threatening to take me to court because I'm letting everyone know. Employee Ashley Klein told us customers weren't the only ones who hadn't seen or heard from Nicole Deal. She claims at least three employees are owed money and have not been paid since May. Kelvin Collins with the Better Business Bureau says they've received three complaints this month about Tiptoe. Complaints that we're seeing so far are alleging that they paid for the service and when they try to show up, uh, it's either closed or uh, they're not getting any answers. He says if you're ever in a situation where you're owed a service you've paid for, you may have protections. It really depends on the contract that you signed. Is there a contract in place if there wasn't? But also, if you paid with a credit card, contact your credit card company. This is a point where you can uh, dispute the charge. But Crystal says she's through with the studio. That's not, that's not anyone that I want to associate with. In Macon, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. We reached out to the owner, Nicole Deal, several times by phone today, but she has not responded.